Hello boys, my name is Kuliyoshi, and welcome back to my blind playthrough of Xeoblade Chronicles Future Redeemed. A side story for Xeoblade Chronicles 3. This is being played on the Switch with the Japanese voices enabled. In the last video, we left off getting a couple of new characters in our setups. I've decided in exchange of kind of time setup, I've decided to kind of do a mixed strategy. Although I mentioned I would be getting a lot of talent points, there's lots of important key items that require doing a bunch of other stuff. But before I do anything, I decided that I would at least attempt to complete some of my other stuff, so... We'll start by completing the quest that um, we got to before earlier. Because, like, it makes sense that we would complete that. So we have a new super move that could be used by Nicole if we wanted. In fact, if we change that, we'll see that he has a new move called Blitz Punch. It's really strong. Now is this guy is like a easy character, that means most of his arts are actually on a bond recharge. Speaking of which, since he just got a new move, we should probably see what, like... Figures now they finally get the break when we don't need it. Still trying to complete those enemy Pedia entries. This guy's weak enough, we could probably kill him. He says. Yeah, that does not take long at all. Alright, um, one thing I am going to do, however, is take out that unique in a minute. I just noticed that controlling the tape seems to actually be the legit best strategy to go right now. That with the Pronix meat. Take it or leave it. Right, now that that's all taken care of, can we get you back to Gugu? Thankings. So many thankings. Friends did fine work. Fish look very fresh and refreshing. Babu also finished with mushroom picking, marking key, turning point, and dinner quest. Cool, back to Gugu then. Keep up, yeah. Alright. Since there are mobs near the area that are likely going to pull if I don't do anything, we're probably going to... Because um, there are a lot of monsters to this guy, we're probably going to kill them first before we do anything. What I've learned, it seems like controlling the tank might actually be the best strategy because you get a lot more control over where to go and this actually kind of fixes one of the big problems of the game which if you're wondering why I mentioned that is because, well, I think I've mentioned before, the bot isn't the best in this game. They get hit by all sorts of different abilities, but if you can at least attempt to face them from the back, then they won't have to worry. Although, it's really hard to get Matthew to face the right way. On top of that, Abe regularly moves in anyways to use the healing for us, so... Sometimes you just need to hope that they will move at some point. Because they will otherwise they'll regularly get hit by clear. By the way, this is, I think, technically our first unique fight where we actually are using our items we got from Razor Chest. Also, there's another collectible thing. I guess I'll probably do that while I'm here. Most of this extra stuff I'm simply just doing while I'm exploring, so I don't have to do it later. Even though I could technically do it at some point. So try and ensure we have Ayue go. I'll just keep doing the Blitz Punch with Whirlwind infinitely to get as much aggro as we can. 
don't know if I timed that correctly or not. I think I might have barely timed it correctly. Oh, that blowdown is really annoying. Oh yeah, there are many reasons to not use you right away. I think that was timed a little bit better. Didn't seem to do as much damage. Kind of annoying that you can no longer use uh, any AoEs. Oh, that just missed all right. That probably did a lot. Would do a lot of damage if it hit, but I completely missed it. Here we go. Let's bring the belt right. Do they have a special yet? I don't know yet. I think in a minute I'll have to probably change to them to make sure that I'm not like this inside. That move is really quick though. It's very hard to react to. He knocked me back from the area I was trying to go into. Okay, here we go. I'll switch to them to use a Mega Crash. Maybe this ought to kill him. Mega Crash. Okay, cool, I did. That was a really cool end to the battle. That's probably actually best saved for there. Okay, we finally got one of the items we needed for our other collectible thing. I'm not gonna lie, when I first uh, played Xenoblade 3, I did not make as nearly as much use of the collectible thing as I feel like I should have. Uh, I'm gonna play it safe and say that I probably cannot take. Safe to say that I probably cannot take on those enemies yet, so I'd much rather ignore them and go a different route instead. However, if I skip around the left, I can. Probably still get around to the other enemies. And there are some flyers nearby here. This is quite a tricky part to do, though. Where are my friends, though? They are all the way over the right side area. They might have. About to say, if they pull extra ads, that would be really bad. We could technically take them out as early as now if we had extra players, but I don't know if we can. Oh, so we're gonna kill these AIs first. そうだよ。So far, I like playing as Matthew the best, though, because again, he just does all so much damage, and it's much easier to just go straight for a bike right off the bat. So, the way this nest is played out is much changed. Previously, it just used the emergence right away, summoned a bunch of ads, and then just kind of vanished afterwards. Now with this new setup, we actually have to fight an army of speeders as they appear. If we do not kill them first, then the next will continue to summon more ads, making it actually a threat now. Thankfully, it seemed we only had to actually kill one of them for the items, but we might still need nest items, based items for other stuff, anyway. 
I also just noticed they did simplify the gem crafting setup, although I think I probably already mentioned it in this video. Um, I think the fastest strategy here is to spam Mighty Strike. Oh yeah, sometimes you can get double drops as well. Oh, look at this poor guy. Hey, this is one of those uh, survivor characters. This isn't just a random fight now. This is this is actually one of those survivors to get matched. Oh, definitely helping him out. What else would you do when you see a guy get ambushed by a bunch of bugs like this? That many, you'd probably get wrecked pretty quickly. It's already at half health by the time we got there. But we saved him, thankfully. Wow. Hey, stay with me. We'll get you patched up ASAP. Movius Vestards. If not for them, I could have lived out my days in the city. Uh-huh. Alright, we're too late anyway. Oh, there was another unique that I didn't even see here. Since we're over leveled for it right now, we definitely are killing it now while we can. One of the... Because one of the special things we are trying to do is... Oh, hello, Nebula Fossil. Nebula Fossil is probably the hardest of the items to attain in here. Given it's the rarest of the items here. Honestly, I probably don't even need most of the bonus experience anyways, even if I were to use it, because, like, um, you just get so much experience from just having to kill a lot of monsters naturally now that, yeah, it's lots of other stuff. And the new enemy chain method allows you to level up really quickly, too, anyway. どこからでも I got we just started a battle and we're already taking on two different unique monsters already. They do give a lot more benefits now thanks to like the extra AP and since that's required to power up the characters, ideally the sooner we defeat them the better now. Whereas previously you actually were better off just straight up skipping them until later. That was well time. Now that we have our super move, until we get Nicole's active as well, it's probably faster to uh, do a bunch of extra attacks. I figured that extra mob would pull, but we should focus on unique first and focus on targets so it doesn't. Yeah, oh, Revolt Uppercut is an evade, okay, so somebody does have an evade attack. It's a DX7 thing.
cool. So we get more accessory shots a lot. There's not room um, to do any extra stuff. Here. What's that? Oh yeah, that's one of those item things we needed again. This is probably the best for dealing with multiple enemies at once, considering it's a nice AoE. Finally, enough of them have died so Ari can finally take out the Stereotum. Ooh, just using SI is probably faster than doing anything else. So, if you don't have launch on them, it just acts as a regular super move and nothing else. I got any monster item required mm, up, um, basically tells you that you must hit that by looking at that extra stuff. Also, speaking of which, let's take a look at Affinity Gulls and see if there's any that I could complete. Ika tells you if something is needed for a different collectible, essentially making sure that you don't accidentally use the item early. I'm gonna add this in now. The rest I'll probably just have to wait for a little bit later. Other than that, this is basically the last thing I'll do, and then we'll probably just start super advancing the storyline since. Similar to other games, a lot of this game's progression is probably locked behind um, doing certain things in the game. Babu, you're not developed by unruly monsters. Ooh, Babu, so sorry for being source of worry. Phew, I'm glad it all worked out. No more randomly wandering on your own, you hear? Many stories was unable to resist a vermin to fungi. Get fire going for dinner. Tummy of Gugu already go cray cray. Friends want to share in feasting. To kindness deserves kind reward. Yeah, I think we're gonna have got places to be, you know. Thanks though. And at least let Pavu share a recipe. We like friends to enjoy a beautiful assemble that is fish plus mushrooms. Yeah, see, quests are really important now. Like, they give. Uh, if they weren't already important before, now they give recipes and stuff. It's crazy. <gasps> Can't say no to that. We'll be sure to try it out sometime. Hanashi will keep the so now we can talk. Panic, event of century. Whoa, what's gotten into you? Finally discover it. Stumbled upon one of the top three mushrooms of legend. Wamshun. So that you just back there, if that's what you mean there. But I would say too, just to sound like legendary. The friend, nah, the shroom wamp like lemness engine. Uh, Evo's in paradise. Sense of a very feeling nostril. So I have most privilege, no pun I else. Let's let him enjoy his little moment. Alright. Uri has been seeing many strangers, really. 
fetched by a despair set of vague as secret of delicious foods in the city finally reached the mainstream. I somehow doubt that it's that. Okay, he literally just mentioned that Glimmer, this girl, is apparently in a hurry through this area to kind of indicate that she is very close by. We're gonna go back here, though, because our food's about to run out anyways. We'll do our upgrade since I think now we've collected it since uh, getting that next item. Oh wait, no, we still need a fluid flanker, but that's much harder to attain. I'll keep, keep it on there for now then, and then I'll pin the remaining items later. That idea is interesting, I think you can only get that if Rabbit like digs in the ground or whatever. I imagine that's the only way to see that happen. And meanwhile though, let's see if we can craft any gems. We can't go up to rank 3 until a little bit later, so we'll try to see what we can upgrade to rank 2 first. We can also maybe get some of the other gems that we haven't gotten yet. Okay, we can get this one. Let's get this one for agility. Uh, what else? This one we'll get. That's actually pretty useful. Oh, this one's a really good run. This one can be nice, depending on the scenario. Life saving expertise. Speed of revival is always really good. Then we'll boost buff power. And I guess, yeah, let's get powered combo as well. That should be it. Again, you don't need to make all the rank 1 gems. You may want to make them attempted to do it for completion sake, but as far as I'm aware, I only get 5 gems. That's the only thing you really would like to do. Fortunately, we cannot get 5 star gems until by the end of the game. So, yeah. Anyways, I think that might have upgraded a couple of our gems, although some were already upgraded. Alright, anyway... Um, I mostly did the extra quests both to get them out of the way and because I don't really know if there's actually any time quest or not. So for safety, I'm just doing side quests that I happen to see. Some of them are actually required to advance the storyline anyways, but I think now... Game mentioned we should be more in a hurry, so we're gonna go. Fortunately, it doesn't look like we can do a weird skip down here this time around. It's possible if you jump it just the right way, though, you might be able to skip down here. Oh! I need to figure out, though, if there's, like, a wall you can land on. If there's, like, a random wall spot you can land on, then you might, that might be possible. I know speedruns sometimes use some really weird techie skips. Actually, wait. Ah! Okay, that is not landable, unfortunately. I think they thought of everything now. Before, um, there was a skip to actually skip that entirely. Now, since we're not able to do that, then the next closest place we can go to that takes us to the right location will be over here. And then we just kind of fall the route down. This is actually the route we were supposed to go, and we kind of just ignored it. So now we're finally going to go here. There's also a container we can pick up, which is nice, that would give us some more diamonds. These were already pretty important. Oh, hello, we found an art unlock kit. It's one of those super alert art unlocks. So, um... So each of these can be unlocked in different spots, depending on where you go. I think I want you first because I think I mentioned how but Matthew is already with damage, so I'll start by unlocking his abilities first. I'm gonna use Art Unlock Kit to unlock the second rank and give him 
this buff, which this one actually could be really useful because it the effect says power charge, which boosts the power of the next attack he would do. So that means that could be used in combination with the break to do massive damage to flying monsters. And that combo I already used already did a lot of damage to flying monsters to begin with. Anyway, let's take this guy out since he's in the way. Maybe we can also show off both of our guys. Depends though, we might kill him before we even get a chance to do that. Okay, here we were able to use it on a fusion art. There we go. That made it much more stronger. Oh, they removed the elite music this time. There used to be a separate music specifically for elites and some other stuff. It still plays once in a while, just not as much now. You know what? Using that on there is probably also really good. Okay, here we go. And you can combo us together too, so I can still use both moves together. There we go. Completed that uh, entry right now. Oh yeah, we need a link for cylinders still. That as well. Alright. If you ask me, I think we need to chase after that man now. Oh, no. Excuse me. What's up, Nickel? 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 バックパックのアームクドウを調整したいんだ。オペレーションオブマイバックパック。昇級士にはちょうどいいだろう。あ、ありがとうございます。なあ、さっきも言ったけど、変に遠慮とかしなくていいんだぜ。別に人質とか捕虜とかそういうんじゃねえんだからさ。な。うん。There we go. Nice 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 ほめ
手遅れになる前にああ There's that girl. Damn it, I'm still in the middle of 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 the middle of
抵抗すんのやめないと本当に殺すよ<笑>こいつどうしたパナセア騒がしいなあ師匠アグヌス陛下若いなこいつどうやらあれらしいんだ Wait a minute, that guy looks really familiar. He don't care nothing. 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 Oh, wait, shock. This is shock. So, yeah, this is the first sign of something weird is happening. <laughs> that was shocked, by the way. I thought that looked more of a metal and ever stuff, but that was legit show. This is the first sign that this game is kind of interesting. Yeah, we get it in the end. Oh, but there's a. Uh, there's a person right in the middle of our area, so I guess we're gonna do this first. Since we're probably not gonna have much time to do other stuff, let's uh, start playing with A a little bit. Because I want to. I, I definitely want to show you how different it is playing as A versus uh, letting her get controlled by the AI. Obviously, it's probably going to be really hard to see it in a regular battle, but I think I will use her in the next battle. Assuming I, I don't have the ability to also control that Jack, otherwise I might do that instead. Okay, this might be more interesting. I almost got the vision. The vision mechanic is pretty cool. Oh, there's another guy. He just kind of leaped in from the sidelines. He does not have any friends, though. It's like you have to use a frame four times this time. Here we go. Now we're at the storyline for Ashen Fire. No, hey. 本当にこっちで合ってるのかこの先のエリアはアグヌス軍の支配域だ自軍へ合流するとなるとここを通った可能性が高いなら信じるけどよあどうした戦闘の後か軍隊同士のものじゃないなもっと小規模の。わずかに反応があるってことはシティの生き残りどうかなあの子が発したものかもしれない That's a girl, Kavosers 
It's kind of funny because we saw a fast mode of somebody. Can... Oh yeah, there we go. Yeah, like ぬくろがない。おそらくはずれ去られた。全員倒したとか兵士たちと違って俺たちの体は後を残さない。それは不可能だ。痕跡から見て相手の方の数が多い。なるほど。なら大勢。もしシティの生き残りならナイルのことは
There we go. Now, eggs we cannot move, so we'll have to just take each one out one by one. Okay, this time it just spawned in extra enemies. Oh, here we go. This is AoE, right? I will hopefully hit them all at once. Well, I guess not if uh, we don't get the Mega Flash. Almost half the vision I lost. By the way, this could have been really good for an enemy doing combo since we were killing a lot of enemies at once there. We got an accessory unlock pet. Okay, there we go. We got two new entries completed at once, and we got which was actually accessory unlock that actually turned out to be accessory unlocking kit, which is really nice. Definitely want that off. Alright, um, I'm gonna put it on Matthew first. Can use it. So I'm gonna unlock the accessory kit. Ooh. Oh, this is interesting. Or those powers will be charged by 45% when I start a battle. What about the other items? White wraps? That's actually pretty useful. Oh, that crystal thing again. Since we're not going to always be defeating a lot of enemies, that will become specifically useful later if we, like, consider doing our stuff. Again, that's useless because we cannot... It's not really any indoor segments in these games anyway. Alright. Iron Arvane is a guaranteed upgrade. Wind Bracelet is probably actually one I want to pick up, because its effect is Orville's powers will be 45% charged, which is their special, which means it may almost be already fully charged by the time we start another battle, and that will make it very strong. Exactly. Where the heck is she going? Hey, Kokora de Kusokuda. Wakata.
Collectible boost, that's interesting. Um, probably failed that. This collectible boost is also very nice. Let's actually just try that next. Collectible boost basically boosts the rate at which buying the RR collectibles in the field. No, it's very useful in certain scenarios. I had street errands, I'm not gonna lie, feels a little bit weaker than the others. Speaking of which, since yes, we don't have certain diamonds, so let's at least try to get those unlocked. So if we need to, we can use those. Alright. Hey, we're actually able to level up a couple of times. As we get them up to about level 20, but they're already on a good level, so I'm gonna skip that for now. What I really should be using that to do is kind of similar to what I can is. And we can still clean that clothes for some reason. <laughs> That's still a thing you could do. I'm actually just gonna save here. So yeah. Sorry guys, but this is the end of the episode sad to say it but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you like if you enjoyed it comment rate subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video bye